All right, good morning and thank you for watching Virginia this morning right here on CBS 6. Time now to enjoy the fresh catch of the day in the form of a burger. Yum. Our good friend at the show, Paul Lobsher, is uh, with Safe Catch, ready to walk us through the steps on creating their signature red, white, and blue burger paired with a tasty side slaw. Paul, it's great to see you. I was making the catch here from the set. You've got a delicious <laughs> spread in front of you. Happy post 4th of July. Hey, thank you. Yeah, it's such an important fun holiday. We're just keeping on going. May carry through the next weekend too. So. <laughs> yeah, keep going. <laughs> keep partying. I mean, you yeah. know, you put the decorations up for Christmas a month in advance so we can stretch this out over a couple of days. Yeah, it's true. This is a super important holiday. So yeah, we, it we definitely give it at least a week. Yeah. So and, let's give it. Um, and, and if you're cooking, we're, we're for it. So um, we said we're going to make a burger. A, was it a salmon, salmon burger? burger? Yeah. How's we that happen? Are. We oh, are. We are. So I'll, I'll give you a little peek oh, here. Oh, yeah. gosh. And so a beautiful thing is, you know, traditions are awesome. And we're, we're not here to overturn that apple cart. Regular burgers are great. Um, okay. But if we um, look at a salmon burger, it's got lots of great benefits. Lots of omega-3s in it, lean protein. And um, the really cool thing is that when you use Safe Catch, you know, every single tuna and salmon has been mercury tested. Every single one, only company in the world to do it. And the limit is 10 times safer than the FDA. So you know you're getting great stuff for your family. Did you know that each one of these burgers has 20% of your daily value of protein in it and it's coming from salmon? Whoa. That's great. That's definitely something yeah. so many folks are looking for, like a high protein dish so you can do it in one handheld delicious way. All right, I know you're totally going to tell true. us, but in advance, Paul, because on my burger, yeah. I like lettuce, tomato, a little bit of mayo, and an onion. So what do you put on a salmon burger? So you can do the exact same thing, actually. Oh. And I tested it all kinds of ways. But today what we have um, is we have a ginger slaw, Ooh. and uh, that's the blue part. Uh, the red is the, you know, the pinkness of the salmon. And then the white is uh, the cheese. And so this goes great. But if you like a slice of onion, go for it. And you can dress these up any way you want. I even put a little pickle on this, dill pickle, for an extra punch. Uh, because that acid really helps to you know, pull through the flavor. And you know, it bolsters the umami in a burger. And so good stuff. Any way you like it, you can do it. Paul, do you want to talk us through the recipe of the actual salmon burger? I always call them That's salmon patties. Great. But how do you put that together? Uh, happy to do it. So one of the interesting things here is if you're used to, you know, tuna or salmon in a can, usually you pour off what's in there. We're not going to do that. The only thing that's in here is pure sashimi grade tuna. Or I see in this case, it's salmon. <laughs> and so um, with that, I'm just flaking it up here. The whole thing goes in. There's no additives, nothing. It's just pure, delicious salmon. And so when you make a burger, you want to make sure it, it it holds together. So we have one egg that's beaten. We'll add that in. Um, I've got a teaspoon of garlic powder and a half a teaspoon of ginger. And so we talked about, you know, umami and that, that kick of uh, spice. And that's what that does. And then the other thing that we're going to do is I took a half a cup of quick oats and just ran them in a food processor really quickly. And uh, so that's all going to come together. And we're going to do this in real time here. It'll take like 10 seconds to, to mix it all up. While we're doing that, did you know that Safe Catch is the only brand uh, that's endorsed by the American Pregnancy Association? And so you know if it's, it's great for pregnancy, it's great for everybody. Wow. Okay, here's, a, here's the trick of the day. So I have a piece of wax paper. I have an egg ring and then a third of a cup scoop. And so I'm going to take this third of a cup, put it in the egg ring, and then just flatten it out. Man. Trick of the day. Yeah. Trick that of the day. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> I'm always. We're here ready to go. And you, you want to uh, really use cooking spray either on your griddle or if you're going to do this on your grill, make sure to put uh, a double layer of aluminum foil down and just spray that down with cooking spray and put it on there. And you're ready to go. And okay. this recipe makes 
four great burgers for your family. They looked gigantic too, mm -hmm. but I yeah. love the idea yeah. of that that ring. So do they have to go in the fridge at all to like set up, Paul, so they hold together or you just put them in the ring and then pop mm -hmm. them on the surface for cooking? That's an awesome question because sometimes you do want to do that to help things to come together. But since we're using oats, there's no gluten. Mm. And so you don't have to wait. And literally in real time, right on the grill and off you go. And it holds together really nicely. About three to four minutes on each side, uh, depending on how hot your grill is. Medium high is a great temperature. And then when you flip it, you can put cheese on it just like a, you know any other burger and put it on a bun and off you go. And we've been diving into them here uh, over the holiday weekend and uh, great reviews from family and friends. All right, how much did you lose it down into the grill? Because you said you're just taking it out of the ring and putting it on the grill? No, we put the aluminum foil oh, aluminum on. Foil. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, oh, that's right, where the right, double right. aluminum, yeah. okay. It's a protective yeah. layer okay. to keep it out of there. I like the that grill's gonna eat all of that. So <laughs> you can put one of these on your uh, grill outside, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. So it's a striated griddle. With that, you just, you know, put a good dose of cooking spray on it and off you go. If you're going to use the actual grill, um, then put on a double layer of aluminum foil and spray that off you go. You're still going to get those beautiful grill marks that are so, you know, indicative of barbecues any time of year, all summer long. Uh, you know, barbecuing as a family is a great tradition whether it's the 4th of July weekend or any weekend during the summer. I love the idea of the quick oats and just pulsing those up because I've been using uh, mm -hmm. saltines, you know, crackers this whole time. Yeah. So that change, yeah. that's a game changer. We have like a minute left, Paul. Do you want to talk us through the ingredients for the slaw? Sure. So what we did is we took about um, half of a uh, red cabbage and sliced it as thinly as you can. And then to that, we added onion powder and again with ginger because that ginger helps to pull through everything. Um, a little mayo and also apple cider vinegar and mix that up and you're ready to go. Now, this is something to your point. If you want to make that the night before and leave it in your fridge, it's only going to get better with time. And so you can do that, save some time on your barbecue day and off you go. You've got a delicious add to your burger. Man. And then awesome. this recipe and lots of other creative recipes with seafood, you can find that on safecatch.com. Wow. Paul, thank yeah. you so much. I've totally upped the salmon game now. That's not going to be a, a 4th of July dish. That's going to be an all summer all the dish. Time. That's right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it looks great. I love and it. And especially when it's hot outside, it's actually really refreshing with that ginger and the slaw. And, you know, it, it, it battles the heat of Virginia, which I know as a kid was there and we just ran through it. But as an adult, boom, salmon burgers, that'll get you there. <laughs> that will get you there. Thank you so much, Paul, for sharing. We really appreciate it. Thank you very much. All right. Looking forward to giving that a try. All right, folks, stay tuned. Our Everywhere You Are segment is coming up next. We're looking forward to seeing what has uh, ended up in our inbox. Ooh. Coming up.